Hi guys, Hi. welcome welcome to our newest extra video. Today we decided, Gabby and I, to do something so crazy, something that we have never done before. You need to turn to me more. <laughs> We're gonna struggles. do, yeah. we should do a YouTuber struggles video. Yeah, like finding the right light, finding the right camera angle. Today we're gonna do equestrians react. We're gonna do an equestrians react video. We are gonna, we asked um, people to send us in their videos and we're gonna react. We're gonna tell you what we think. We're gonna judge you. We're gonna say what we think you're doing wrong. Rude day by day. Rude day by day. We turned over a new leaf and this is it. We are rude. Anyway, <laughs> um, so let's get on with the video. We did have a submission already and we're gonna watch this girl ride and then we are gonna judge the heck out of her. Yes. You ready for it? Yes, I look really pale on camera. All right. Let's do it. This girl is currently in college and um, this was her very first jump ever. Kind of like what Sophie is doing right now. Kind and of like what I did when I was jumping blue. Yeah. And and obviously she didn't look super balanced. She her legs were kind of loose, right? We know yeah, that. Her legs were pretty tight. Were they pretty tight? Okay, they kind of look stiff to me though. Did they look a little stiff to you? Yeah. Okay, was she perfect? No. Okay, so this video that we're gonna watch now, and she's a lot older, and um, she's been riding for a while. This girl's been riding for a long time. Um, and she's at her friend's barn, and she's riding one of her friend's horses. Is uh, she's cantering along and she actually looks really good. Better than you. Better than me. Like we suck at, at critiquing people. <laughs> but her legs are moving around a lot and uh, she's like holding me. She's holding pretty tight, but I don't know if that's if that's what she's supposed to do. To be honest. Oh my God, mom. I know I suck at critiquing. Critiquing. Okay, so in this video, she's cantering as a young adult outside. She's holding onto the saddle while she's cantering. Her legs look pretty good, actually, but they are moving a lot, just like Gabby's and mine and Sophie's all do. Cutting corners. Cutting corners. Good one. <laughs> um, just keep them straighter down. Not so great on her steering because she's using one hand. That's like storm. I can't see her at her, all. That horse is really nice. She does not look like a professional. Um, she looks pretty good to me though. Like, I don't know. I, I she has better than arm she she has better arms than me. Me. Yeah, like Her. she she did not too bad. Okay, so this girl's been riding for a really long time, and for as long as she's been riding, you think that she would be like totally professional and she's older than us, so she should be so much better than us and and It depends on how long you ride though. Yeah, like Okay, so in this video, she's doing no stirrup work. On a paint. On a beautiful paint. She's leaning really far back, but she looks... That's what I do when I see I know, that. like... You can do it. You can do it. Oh. She almost fell. Oh. Oh. That's a mom save. That's yeah, a mom save. Yeah, that was a mom save. I, that's how I ride, but she's doing no stirrup. Wrong lead, but looks good. She could canter without stirrups. Mom can even yeah, drop she's this. cantering along, bouncing Whoa. around, holding on. She's holding on to her saddle, though. She's pretty good at riding with one hand. Okay. Basically, um, well, yeah, we wanted to make like one where we were really brutal and we really critiqued her, but I really couldn't say anything bad <laughs> because I we're not good at that. But I we want to make like a react video. Um, anyway, so she did send us some um story. Everybody's got a story. We all have stories, right? We all have a story. I was and riding so for seven years, but the barn that we were at, like, wouldn't let us do anything until like. Yeah, the barn we were at was super. Anything. Yeah, we all have a story. All of us have our story, and so um, I'm gonna play that footage back to you guys, back for you guys again, and I'm gonna read her story, and then we're gonna see um, how we can critique her. Cause I wanted you guys to all critique her while we were criti critiquing her. Um, I wanted all of you guys to judge her the way that you judge us, and the way that we would judge other people. Like I want, like yeah. But now I want no. you to watch. 
Okay, not so, in the way that we would judge other people because this video is a fail. Can't <laughs> talk rude. <laughs> we can't talk rude. But, oh man, we suck. But anyways, um, I'm gonna read her story. I'm gonna let you guys watch back all the footage and I'm gonna, at the end, we're gonna re-judge this girl, okay? We're gonna re, um, react to her video. So you guys go ahead and watch and I am going to read her story. So this girl's name is Lauren and she says, I was supposed to be born September the 9th, 1999. When that day came and my mother hadn't gone into labor, she went to her doctor for an ultrasound. The doctor saw something abnormal with my brain and he told my mom that it was more than likely that I would end up disabled. They didn't know how severe or anything, but they decided that if it wasn't born naturally soon, I would have to be induced and so I was. So I came into this world on September the 13th, 1999. I was seemingly normal, though my eyes were tested and they could see a severe impairment there, as well as delayed reflexes. For my parents, it was a waiting game. I had surgery a few months later to correct my eyes as they were extremely crossed. And a few months after that, when I was 16 months, I got my first pair of glasses. My vision was 2200 or worse, so they wanted to get me an optical therapy immediately. I was in that all through preschool, along with my vision, my milestones were extremely delayed. For example, I didn't start walking until I was three, but my parents got me into all sorts of therapies, including physical and speech. As a young girl, I adored horses. So for my eighth birthday, my parents bought me riding lessons at a therapeutic riding barn. There was an evaluation prior to see what my ability level was. And then I finally got to get on a horse and I cried the whole time. But I couldn't have hated it too bad because when the girl asked if I wanted to trot, I said yes while still sobbing. Throughout kindergarten, I had to wear knee-high braces to help me walk and I also had a procedure where they injected Botox into my legs to paralyze muscles that were overcompensating. Unfortunately, this backfired and made it so I was so weak I couldn't even get off the floor. Because of this, I had to sit at the table during class while all my classmates sat on the rug. I was isolated and bullied for it. The bullying continued all through grade school until I finally had enough and switched to a different school for sixth grade. In seventh grade, I had my first two major surgeries. One was called a selective dorsal rhizotomy, or SDR for short. What my surgeon did was go into my back, remove my vertebrae, remove two vertebrae, and enter my spinal cord. I will not let anybody touch my back. Snipping a few nerves. These nerves were sending false messages to my brain to always keep my leg muscles tight, no matter how much stretching we did. I was on bed rest for three days in the hospital and stayed another two to get inpatient physio ther physical therapy. After that surgery, I had to relearn how to walk again and it was scary. It turned my legs into noodles that couldn't support my weight, but now it seems to have worked wonders. Two months later in March, I had a muscle lengthening surgery when my surgeon went in and feathered my muscles so they would be longer. Even on high strength painkillers, this is the worst pain I have ever felt. He cut my hamstrings and heel cords, and I swear, even shifting in bed caused searing pain. The pain lasted for about two weeks, but I still get spasms daily because of it. Even still, I'm grateful for this surgery. It was the only one we could see an immediate positive effect. Right away, I was able to stand straight and have my feet flat instead of having my knees bent and being on my toes. Because of the extensive rehab needed for both these surgeries, I took the entire semester off of school to focus on that. Ooh. I wasn't allowed to ride after the SDR surgery, but my surgeon said I could ride as soon as I could tolerate the pain from my muscle lengthening surgery. So you bet, I was back out riding as soon as my mom would let me. My next two surgeries aren't as severe. They just had to tighten my perineal tendon and remove a bunion, but I'm having surgery this summer and I'm terrified. They are completely restructuring my left foot, breaking two bones and then getting a bone from a cadaver to build me an arch. That's a dead person. I'll be completely wheelchair bound for six weeks, which means I can't ride or work at the Cub Scout camp I've worked at the last two summers. I've also never had a surgery on bone and it seems so scary. I trust in my team though and I hope it goes well. One day I hope to have a custom wheelchair with smart drive technology to help me get around, but unfortunately my family can't afford it right now and since I'm in college, I don't exactly have much I can put away into savings for it. It's such a hard balancing, balancing act because some days I'm too fatigued for or in pain to go to school, but I have to. I want to be a veterinarian. I'm just praying my disability won't keep me from that dream. Listening to Lauren's story really changes how we would look at her riding, huh? Because she has moved mountains to ride those horses. She yeah. has 
gone through insurmountable pain and obstacles and hurdles to ride those horses. Now and every other hater is like, okay, shouldn't have judged. And look at how incredible she was riding. If you go back and you look at the video and you know that she's had a tendon severed, she's had surgery, she's been wheelchair bound, she's been... Uh, I just, Desk I just, bound? I just can't even imagine the strength it would take to go through all of the things that she did to meet her goals and to become an equestrian. And I think that looking back at those videos, I think she was incredible. I think she looks beautiful. I think that she rides way better than I ever would have. And she is brave. She is the bravest girl I have yet to meet to this day. And yes. Everybody has a story, you guys. We all have a story. And if you look at something without factoring in their story, then you're doing themselves and yourself a disservice. Everybody has a story, and I know you all know what it feels like to be judged without other people paying attention to your story. So through this Christmas season, if I had one wish for all of you guys, and even for us, it would to be- To not judge. It would be not to make any rash assumptions or judgments without getting to know somebody's story first. But anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope we didn't suck too bad with the judging, and, and Lauren, I hope we didn't hurt your feelings because none of it was true. We were just trying to come up with mean things to say, <laughs> and yeah. And we suck at it. We suck at it. But if we're gonna suck at something, I mean, we suck at a lot of things. At least I suck at a lot of things. But if I'm gonna suck at something, I want it to be that. Good luck on your journey, and thank you so much for getting in touch with me and telling me your story. I think you are amazing, and um, so motivated, and you inspire me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.